Let's talk about financial stocks because they are falling today after being the strongest group earlier on. What's driving the sudden selling? Let's ask Zara Burton. Zara is here from our newsroom. Zara. Hi there, Laurie. Well, just want to talk about some SunTrust comments because that's what's really driving the sell-off we're seeing in the financials as we speak. SunTrust, this is the CEO speaking, Mr. Wells. He's talking about credit losses continuing and saying that the, it's a long way from recovery. He says he will repay TARP as soon as possible, but commercial real estate remaining very difficult. It may deteriorate further and also saying that banks are not improving in the very near future. So these are some of just the, the negative headlines coming across and that's that's where you're seeing SunTrust banks, as you can see, selling off to the downside by about seven tenths of one percent. I also want to bring up a chart, if we can, of some of the other big banks that we had loaded up. We're talking about banks like Citigroup, Morgan Stanley, and Bank of America. They are holding on to gains right now, but Citigroup was much higher by as much as four percent. You are seeing it pair those gains right now, but still up about three percent, as you can see. Morgan Stanley is still holding on to gains as well, and Bank of America as well on the rise as well. I want to talk about the reason for the rise earlier on? You remember. A lot of these insurers, especially talking about Hartford Financial in particular, Deutsche Bank had come out with a note and said that this company, the stock price there could rise to about $25 a share. As you can see, it's trading at about $21 right now. What they're talking about is the equity markets. Remember, this company had to take out a bailout from the TARP funds, about $3 billion in TARP funds because it had a capital squeeze, had to set aside capital for these annuities. There are these annuities that they had sold off, which basically guarantee payments for retirees as or holders of these of these annuities as um, even even those stocks are selling off they had to essentially set aside capital to pay those even those stocks were falling and this Deutsche Bank analyst is saying that as stocks recover, that means they'll have to set less capital aside. That could ultimately boost their income. So a lot of the other insurers were strong in the session as well. We're talking about Excel Capital, Genworth as well, which is now down about eight tenths of one percent. So I'm going to continue following this story, Laurie, regarding the financials and get back to you as soon as we have more. Zara Burton from the newsroom. Well, if the economy is recovering, no one stands to gain more than the country's banks. With bank failures mounting, the news looks bad. But our Margaret Popper says the industry may be at a turning point. What's the evidence? Good afternoon. <laughs> Thanks, Lori. Well, the evidence comes from Jennifer Thompson at Portales Partners, and she says despite the bank closures that have been in the news, statistics are looking pretty good. Now, one thing that she points to, deposits have jumped at banks in the past year, and while they're not making loans, they are buying securities. And so you're seeing these big $3.8 trillion of deposits getting dumped into securities, even though loan volumes are not going up. They're, in fact, shrinking. Thompson says the bigger regionals don't have too much exposure to commercial real estate either, and that's what's causing the spate of bank failures among small banks, including the one that was announced Friday. Banco Bilbao Vizcaya Argentaria bought Guarantee Financial Group of Texas, a bank with $13.5 billion of assets. The deal was brokered by the FDIC. BBVA is the first foreign bank to buy a failed U.S. bank, which of course put a bit of a scare into the market. The guarantee financial failure came close on the heels of another bank closure involving more than $10 billion in assets. Colonial Bank Group of Alabama was seized by the FDIC on August 14. BB&T bought the failed bank. Regional bank stocks, however, have rallied in recent days as investors try to make money on the lift an economic recovery would give to bank earnings. So let's follow up on what Zara was reporting, the news from SunTrust that the company is very concerned credit losses will be continuing. Well, interesting. Thompson was talking about that, and she said, you know, it's not that we are not going to see increased write-offs, but she said the amount of loans and assets that are considered non-performing, in other words, they're in default and the, and the borrowers are not making payments on them, that has slowed. They're not mounting as quickly as they had before. And so she says that's probably good news overall, that you are kind of seeing a bottom here in, in the trouble with banks. Okay. Margaret Popper, thanks for the update.